Hello and welcome back to Seven Days of Halloween. Hi everyone, it's Monica and welcome back to Day 5 of Seven Days of Halloween. Well today I'm going to be sharing with you my recent passport kit that I created for Halloween. And this of course is called Passport to Halloween. And the theme that I decided to go for is obviously a Halloween theme, but more uh, specifically an apothecary theme. I really love apothecary theme cards, and that's why I decided to go ahead and kind of work around that theme. So as always, you're going to get four pieces of uh, eight and a half by 11 paper, and you're going to get uh, two five by seven images, as well as four uh, four and a quarter by five and a half images and this way they're already sized down for you um, All you have to do is trim them as needed. You're also going to be getting um, some individual Ephemera pieces to help decorate your passport card now, So to start out you're going to want to print out your images and then you're going to want to uh, trim down everything The ephemera pieces I've lined up so it should be pretty easy to cut out based on the way that I've lined them up on the paper. So just get out your trimmer and just take a few minutes to uh, cut everything out. And that way when you go to create your card, you'll have everything handy. Now there are a couple of items that aren't uh, rectangular or square. So you're gonna go ahead and just trim those down. And then you're gonna have to probably fussy cut if you don't wanna have any back uh, white backing. Um, but again, this will only take a few minutes. Just uh, get everything prepared before you actually start to put your passport card together. Now, of course, if you have some sort of scan and cut or cutting machine, this uh, image would work perfect in that as well. But again, it won't take you very long to fussy cut it. Um, just take a few minutes, get everything ready, and you'll be all set. So whenever I fussy cut, I typically like to take my walnut stain and just go over the edges because you may have a little bit of uh, white edges showing. And the walnut stain works great because once you get it added to your apothecary bottles, you're going to hardly be able to tell that there was any white there at all. And then once you get your edges uh, nice and inked up, then you want to go ahead and take your scoreboard and you're going to want to go ahead and uh, put together the base of your card. Now you're going to have a piece of cardstock that's going to already be sized out for you. And then all you're going to do is put it in your scoreboard upside down and score it at two and three fourths and then fold it over and give it a nice uh, crisp fold. And then you're going to go ahead and rotate it. Um, to your right just like I'm doing here and you're going to score it at three and a half and then you're going to take that rectangular part uh, that you just scored and you're going to cut it out. And then once I have my uh, base card put together then I want to go ahead and take my corner rounder. Um, I use my chomper you want to round your corners. Now this step isn't required of course but I like the way that it finishes off the card and if you uh, do decide to round your corners the only thing I would recommend is not to round the corner uh, where it folds at the bottom because that you want to have a straight line. And then may maybe you want to just take one final check to make sure that your card folded is going to uh, be right at four and a quarter. Um, so I saw that it was just a little bit over, so I went ahead and trimmed it down. Now you don't have to score it, I just basically did that um, to show you uh, that it was a little bit longer. Um, and then I'm gonna just take it to my trimmer and trim it down so that way my final card folded will be four and a quarter. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna go ahead and create my second page. And I'm gonna be using my poison label paper. Now you're going to want to uh, score it on the left hand side about a quarter of an inch or half an inch, whatever you prefer. I think I want a quarter of an inch. And then once you have it folded, you want to go ahead and just size it up because you might have to trim it. Uh, your final size of your card is going to be three and a half. So when you get it uh, kind of positioned into the card, if you notice that it is a little bit uh, wider than you want it, um, go ahead and trim your length and your width if you need to. So your width is going to be three and a half, and then the length of that fold is going to be uh, about four and three fourths. So just eyeball it. Now, again, these are just my recommendations. You don't have to have it sized exactly like I do, but I do like to have some layers showing when I do put my cart together, and those are the measurements that I typically will use.
And then once you have it trimmed exactly to the size that you want it, you want to add your adhesive to the folded part and then add it to the inside of your base. And then you're going to end up with three pages here. You're going to end up with a smaller page, a medium page, and then of course the back page. All right, so we want to cover these white spaces um, and you're going to have some paper in your kit to be able to do this. So for the back page, um, you can either eyeball it um, you, or you can trim it down. I know some of you like to just kind of wing it like I do, but if you want to trim it down, you just want to measure the back of your card and your back of your card is going to uh, be measured about four and a quarter. And you just want to uh, trim it a little bit less than that. So that way when you, uh, when you add it down with your adhesive, you do have some of your white space showing. And then once you get the back panel uh, trimmed down, you want to uh, go ahead and add your pocket. Now again, the pocket is just my design. You don't have to go with that. But if you do decide to add your pocket, it is a nice little holding place for your ephemera. And your pocket is going to measure about two inches and then the width of your back panel, which should end up at about four inches. So again, just measure it when you're cutting it and then add your pocket to your back panel using some really strong adhesive. Now, again, I'm showing you my red line tape. It's the strongest adhesive that I know of and it works great for pockets. When you're working with a pocket design, you're going to be uh, adding things in and out and it's going to get some tugging involved so I always recommend using the red line tape when you're adding a pocket. And then once you get your pocket adhered to the back panel then you can go ahead and take your adhesive and add your back panel to uh, the back part of your card. Now another trick that I have to make sure that pocket is really secure is before you actually adhere the back panel to your card base, you could add some washi tape. And when you add your washi tape, uh, you wanna make sure that you fold it over to the sides of your panel. And of course those are gonna be covered when you actually adhere it to your card base. But by using the extra washi tape, it really secures the pocket even more. So that way, again, when you're pulling your ephemera inside and out, of your card. Um, it's going to just kind of give it that extra support so that way you don't tear or pull the sides of your pocket uh, up. Um, I think it would take a lot to be able to actually you know pull that pocket up but again if you're going to be giving this away as a gift the last thing you want is for your card to be coming apart when someone is pulling out this fun ephemera. So it's just a little tip that I have to help secure your pocket. All right, so once you have your pocket in place and you have it secured, so that way the uh, pocket isn't gonna be coming up, uh, again, you wanna round your corners if you haven't already rounded the pocket, and then just add your adhesive like you would normally do and add it to the back panel. And with that, you're gonna have uh, the white part of your card uh, on the back completely decorated. Now, you're gonna do exactly the same thing minus the pocket on your left side of your card as well as the smaller part of your card. You just wanna go ahead and get your paper that you're going to uh, use and measure up your card to add your uh, card stock. And then along the way, of course, you can get your walnut stain and you can ink up the edges so that way it will just add some more vintage uh, goodness to your card. Now, as you're going along, of course, you're gonna find some extra pieces where you might have some ideas to decorate the inside of your passport card. And this little label here uh, that I had could go a couple places. Of course, it could go on the pocket, but I decided to go ahead and add it to the top part of my card on the back panel. So that way, when it's closed, you do see part of those apothecary bottles. And then you're going to have fun little ephemera that you can either put inside the pocket or add to the side panels. So like I said, just continue to go on, measure out the uh the uh, card base as you go along and figure out exactly the sizing that you need based on how you've trimmed your card and then add your card stock. All right, one of the extra items that I added this time around was a little poison pocket. And I've done these uh, pockets in some of my previous passport kits. Um, and they're really great because I size them so your ephemera can fit in here as well. So not only 
are you creating a pocket on your back panel, but you're going to have a cute little pocket also that you can attach in your book. And, you know, you don't even have to use it in the book. You can use it maybe for a card uh, or another design. Um, and because it's a printable, you can print it out as many times as you want. Um, I also created some uh, s other designs uh, for the pocket as well. So if you want to check out the shop, there is another kit that has different uh, different designs for the pockets. So you can mix and match your, your pockets for your kits. Uh, so be sure to check that out. So for the pocket, you're going to have to fussy cut because it is uh, it does have some round edges, uh, but it's, it's pretty easy to fussy cut. So just fussy cut it, and then um, you'll have your lines that you can score, uh, and then use your adhesive to put your pocket together, and then you're good to go. You can just add it to your book um, or just use it for something else, but it's a really cute pocket. I added one of the poison labels on the outside, um, and uh, I think it came out really cute. Now for my design, I ended up putting the pocket on the left side of the back panel. So you have two pockets. You have your pocket on your right side, which is the little pocket that you created. Um, and then you have your pocket on the left side. So um, when you open it up, you have two sides that have some really cute ephemera. Uh, and like I said, you know, your ephemera is going to fit in either pocket. So when you put it together, you can even print out uh, several pieces of your ephemera. One of the sheets has all of the ephemera, so you can print that out maybe a couple of times so you can have ephemera in both sides. Uh, but lots of options on this particular kit. It's really cute. Um, it's probably one of my favorites. I like the uh, apothecary labels, and I also like the bottles. Um, and just overall, I think it came out great. Um, and there are some add-ons, of course. Like I said, you can get the extra pockets um, on another kit um, to have different designs. And then the specimen... Uh, label. If you want to have a whole sheet of specimen labels, certainly you can get that in the shop as well. So be sure that you do check out the shop because there are s other pieces of ephemera uh, that would go really cute with this kit. So uh, you can, you know, get the kit as the base and then you can get some add-ons um, just to. And then once I added the pocket to the left panel, then I just continued to decorate my card. Now, once I have my ephemera cut out, it's very hard for me to not play with it, uh, especially when I get my pockets in place because I like to see, you know, exactly where I'm going to be placing my ephemera. I like to see what's going to fit in the pocket and see if maybe I'm going to actually add it to uh, the card itself. Um, do I want it to show? Do I want it to be in the pocket? It's always my favorite part because I love playing with the ephemera. So when you get to this point, uh, don't forget, you still have one more inside panel to decorate. Uh, so once you get your plane out of the way, then you want to go ahead and continue to decorate the inside of your card. And, you know, with this last piece, it's pretty easy. Um, you can easily just kind of put it against the uh, card base and then take your scissors and trim it down. And then from there, you can maybe just trim it a little bit more if you need it to be uh, a little bit smaller than that piece. But the last piece is pretty easy to put together. And as you see, I just kind of lined it up to the panel and I cut the uh, the the left, or excuse me, the right side. And then I put it up into my trimmer and I just trimmed off the top. And then um, I'll go ahead and I'll uh, get my adhesive out and add it to the back panel. And for the most part, your card at this point is pretty much done. It's just a matter of rounding your corners and figuring out if you want to actually adhere your uh, little ephemera pieces to the card or just add them on with maybe a little paper clip or with some adhesive or even just stick them in the pocket. And then once you get your card completely decorated, then you get to choose what you want on your outside. Now, my idea, of course, was to use those apothecary bottles um, because it kind of tied the whole card together. But certainly, you can use any pieces of the ephemera. Um, the apothecary bottles, just in my opinion, I mean, they are a real nice addition to the front of the card, and that's the way that I chose to go. And then just as added dimension, I did uh, use foam tape to add them to the front of my card. And then finally, uh, once my card was completely finished, then I just took my uh, leftover ephemera pieces and I just added them to the card. Now you have a couple of pockets. Of course, you can stick your ephemera right in the pockets, or uh, Tim Holtz has those little uh, uh, paper clips that are so cute and they look really great on cards. And I used a couple of those to add my ephemera pieces to the pages. 
Now the kit is currently available in my shop, so be sure to check out the links below. And I will leave links to all the uh, product that I use to create the card. Um, so if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. And my comment for you today, or my question for you today, is going to be, have you ever created one of my passport cards using one of my kits? And if so, what was your favorite kit so far? So don't forget to leave a comment, and that will be used to enter you into a drawing at the end of my series. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, everybody, thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you again tomorrow.